This character stripped down essentially is a bouncing oval. But before we start worrying about how we animate these individual pores or whatever, we just start feeling the masses and shapes, the shapes of the character, right? Stripping this character down to just a basic form. And how do we animate just that basic form, okay? But I just wanna start thinking in this form language in our characters as we're putting in breakdowns, easing in and out of things, creating our arcs to our moves, we just want to start thinking about what's the easiest, clearest shape to transition in and out of these breakdowns and these golden poses into whatever the movement requires, right? Essentially like you have a wrist pose, right? Yeah, okay. That's our pose A, right? And then we're going to come to pose C because we'll make B the breakdown. So, right, we have to turn the wrist, bring the thumb down, so maybe very logical about the approach, right? Wrist is gonna drop down, and then we need to start rotating the hand where the thumb maybe is crossing in front, because we're gonna go from out here to on the other side here. So maybe the thumb is kind of halfway between that. Maybe we're gonna just, hey, I know about drag. Let me put some drag on the fingers, but these are straight. So maybe I'll just kind of break this up a little bit so we get this kind of dragging pose with the pose B, right? Okay, and by all rights, the, what, what you're doing and what we're doing here is not wrong in the sense of what animation principles, right? We're leading with the wrist, we're adding some drag on the fingers, we're trying to be responsible or thoughtful about anatomy. Great, but from a shape standpoint, you know, we're starting from this kind of pose, going into this kind of a pose, right? And so if we're gonna be going from these kind of block shapes into each other, right? And it's just a transition pose. Again, it's different if we're talking key poses, it's different talking hold, gonna be holding on it, or it's an emphasis pose. I'm just talking, you know, breaking motions down and actions down. It's not an important detail, um, this pose. It's just, we need to get in and out of it, transition, and we just make it appealing and non-distracting. Then what I want to talk about is how we can build these shape languages where say we, we just want to get in and out of that as smooth and quick as possible. So if we just think, all right, let's just break it down to a shape and it may be completely a cheat in regards to anatomy, but if we just, instead of worried about how all this is going to function and work and whatever, and say we just break the hand down to its simplest form and shape, you don't even worry about where the thumb is because we're just animating shape, right? This, yes, we've turned the wrist the other way. We've hidden the thumb, but from an animation standpoint, this will can play a lot more smoothly because we're going from this, from end of this to a new pose, right? And that essentially will create a cleaner animation than this to something equally as blocky and big and complex and then into a other blocky and complex form right now it's not wrong but again thinking about how these things animate between each other and motion and emphasis and you know if we want to stay on the face then what's the simplest version so just think about that stuff as you start adding breakdowns and again it's not that every single breakdown has to have this like simplified shape language it's just as you're working, if you're like, all right, too distracting of a breakdown, how can I simplify that shape? Just, I want you to start thinking about it. So if we look at the feet reaching out and then they tuck in, right? This pose, straight, right? Strong line of action, reaching out. But as we pull in, we grip and pull in. You can see the, we just go from these rounded, strong line legs, curls in, and then we go to a bent leg. Again, an anatomically completely incorrect. But what, again, shape-wise, why it's working is because of tracking this shape, All right? Now we move forward, easing out of the same shape, but maintaining that shape, again, tracking it. We can't do that, right, anatomically speaking. But again, tracking the shape, it works. 
because we don't question it because our eye is not being caught by some break in the movement. Now what's interesting here is now they're using kind of the arm to help separate the spacing because the leg hops way down here, which is a big pop in spacing. But what helps break that up is again, now the arm shape is coming in to help that transition from here to here to here. Again, shape. The motion reads because they're navigating the shapes of this movement, right? Again, shape language, right? You can just break it down to a whole composition, right? Whole composition. What's important? What do we need to see? This moment. So we're creating all of this flow and motion into it. And again, we hold on it for just a few frames so the audience sees it, right? Easing in and out of it, right? We stay in it, right? The, the, even though we're moving through this moment, as far as motion, we've still stayed in the shape. It's just, it's now moved, but we've still maintained this kind of fan blade shape, right? It just started here and ended here. But because of that, it, we can read it. Again, just animating shape. And this is through an entire composition, but it's the same idea. It's Alvin. But again, it's shapes. It's just this oval kind of wit, at least in this moment. Again, all motivated by the character. The character needs to wave and you say, come on, guys. So it's not just, let me create a whipping motion on the character. Again, there's a reason. So, you know, we get the anticipation, the drag, all that stuff is in there. All the principles that we know, right? It's just this simple action, this shape that looks very just, essentially kind of like a tidal wave or a shark fin does that. It does the reversal and then it whips the other way, right? And then settles back the other way. This is just pose A, arms up, right? Arm back, leading with the, the stomach and the chest, hand drag, head coming forward, and then the arms out here, heads here, right? It's just a shape. Again, then worked back into the details. It's got to have the iconic A on the, on the shirt. It's got to have the ball cap on. But really just animating this shape. Again, it's, it's not about motion for motion sake everything i talk about and every note i give all caveats around motivated by the character internally or an external force right does it support it support the character does it support the storytelling beat um it's not just let me do it because it's nope no no, no. intention it needs an intention